Hello students and welcome to this video on adaptations in animals. When we look around us, we see birds flying in the sky, monkeys jumping on trees, fish in water, camels in a desert and so on. All these animals live in their natural homes which are called their habitat. Different animals live in different habitats. For example, the habitat of a camel is a dry sandy desert and that of a tiger is a dense forest. Millions of years ago, huge animals called dinosaurs roamed the earth. Now there are no dinosaurs. Do you know why? Some scientists believe that this happened due to a sudden change in the earth's climate. They believe that it became very cold and the dinosaurs could not adjust to the cold conditions and eventually died. As a result, now we have no dinosaurs on the earth. In the natural world, a plant or an animal has to adapt or change itself to suit its surroundings. This change happens over hundreds and thousands of years. A change that a living thing undergoes to become better suited to the environment is called adaptation. For example, camels are adapted to live in a desert and fish are adapted to live in water. Living things that are able to adapt themselves to their surroundings survive. Those who cannot die. Animals are divided into different groups according to their habitats. They develop special features that help them to survive in their habitats. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Lions, tigers, cows are some examples of terrestrial animals. These animals have to walk and run on the ground, so most of them have legs. They have lungs or air holes to breathe air. Animals such as snakes do not have legs. They have scales that help them to crawl. Land animals live in a variety of environments. Animals such as seals and penguins live in very cold places. They have a thick layer of fat called blubber under their skin to keep their body warm. Polar bears and arctic foxes live in cold polar regions. Yaks live in the mountains that are covered with snow. These animals have a thick fur on their body and a thick layer of fat under their skin which keeps them warm. Animals such as frogs and snakes cannot bear extreme cold. Therefore, they sleep for several months to protect themselves from cold. This long period of rest is known as winter sleep or hibernation. Animals living in cold places save their energy by becoming inactive during the winter season. In many places, food is not easily available in winter. During this period, they use the fat stored in their body as food. Many animals cannot bear the heat of summer and go on a long period of summer sleep or estivation during hot summer months. Since deserts are very hot during daytime, Desert animals have special features to prevent water loss from their bodies. Camels have a very thick skin. This skin helps to bear heat and cold of the desert. They do not sweat and excrete very little water in the form of urine to prevent water loss. Camels have white feet that help them to walk easily on sand without sinking in it. Now here is a fun fact. Camels store fat in their humps. They get energy from this fat when they do not get food or water for a long time. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Fishes, turtles, crabs, squids, octopuses are some examples of such animals. These animals breathe oxygen dissolved in water. They have special breathing organs called gills. Fishes have fins. Turtles have paddles or flippers to swim in water. These animals have a hard covering to protect them from predators. Fishes have scales and crabs have hard shell to cover their body. 
Animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibian animals. Frogs, toads are some examples of such animals. They have long back legs that help them to move on land by jumping. They have webbed feet that help them to swim in water. When they are on land, they breathe using lungs. But when they are in water, they can breathe through their skin. Land animals that live mostly on trees are called arboreal animals. Monkeys, flying squirrels and koalas are some examples of arboreal animals. They have sharp claws that help them to climb trees. Their powerful legs and tail help them to hold on to the branches. They breathe through their lungs. Animals that can fly are called aerial animals. These animals have wings to fly. Most birds and insects can fly. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Animals that can fly have a light body because of light bones and feathers. The boat-shaped body helps them to fly easily. In the cold winter months, many birds fly thousands of kilometers towards warmer places for food and warmth. They fly back to their homes when winter ends. This seasonal movement of birds is called migration. Animals eat different kinds of food. Accordingly, they have features that make it easy for them to gather and eat their food. Animals such as cows, buffaloes, zebras and goats eat plants. They are called herbivores. They have sharp front teeth for biting and cutting and very strong back teeth for grinding leaves and grass. Many herbivorous animals have special features that help them to gather their food. Elephants have long trunks to pull out grass and leaves. Giraffes have a long neck to reach for leaves from tall trees. Butterflies have a tube-like mouth to suck nectar from flowers. Animals such as lions, tigers, wolves and crocodiles eat the flesh of other animals. They are called carnivores. They have very sharp and pointed teeth for catching their prey and tearing its flesh. Carnivorous birds such as eagles and kites have sharp claws and strong hooked beaks to tear the flesh of their prey. Many snakes are poisonous and they can kill a prey with their bite. They can open their mouth very wide to swallow their food. Female mosquitoes have a tube-like mouth to suck blood. Animals such as human beings, bears and squirrels can eat both plants and flesh of other animals. They are called omnivores. They have sharp and strong teeth. Omnivorous birds such as crows and robins use their sharp beaks to eat food. Animals also need to adapt to protect themselves from being harmed or hunted by other animals. Rhinoceros and buffaloes have horns to keep away their enemies. Deer run very fast to save themselves from lions and tigers. The huge size of an elephant and an hippopotamus scares away their enemies. Tortoises and snails have hard shells on their body. They go into their shells when faced with danger. Porcupines and hedgehogs have sharp spines that save them from their enemies. The body color of animals such as grasshoppers and polar bears matches their surroundings. This helps them from being seen by their enemies. This method of saving themselves by matching their surroundings is known as camouflage. Animals such as zebras, deer and frogs have stripes or patches on their skin. This helps them to hide in matching surroundings. Animals such as chameleons change their body color and pattern of the skin to match their surroundings. Insects such as the stick insect and the leaf insect look like a stick and a leaf respectively and thus protect themselves from their enemies. We keep many animals at home as our pets. We keep domestic animals such as goats, hens and ducks on our farms. Animals help us in many ways. 
cows and goats give us milk, hens and ducks give us eggs. Animals such as horses and donkeys carry loads for us. Therefore, it is our duty to take proper care of them. We should give them proper food at fixed times, keep them in neat and clean shelters, bath them regularly, allow them to take proper rest, never hurt or tease them, take them to a vet when they are sick. Some animals are disappearing fast from the earth. It is because people are destroying their habitats or hunting them for selling their body parts. Such animals are called endangered animals. Some endangered animals are elephants, rhinoceros, tigers, crocodiles, pandas, polar bears, sea turtles. Endangered animals can disappear forever if they are not protected in their habitats. To save these animals, the government of India has made laws to control the killing and selling of their body parts. The government of India has also set up national parks and wildlife sanctuaries to protect these animals.